Hey guys, welcome to episode 29 of Pokemon Generation 1. Last we left off, we got through the cycling road and explored most of Fuchsia City. All that's left now is the gym itself. Now the Fuchsia City gym is supposed to be annoying, but it's really not. The gimmick is supposed to be invisible walls. The reason it's not very annoying like it should be, you can actually see where those walls are even more so in black and white colors. Yeah. Now the reason Machamp ain't getting any use in this gym, well, most of the gym trainers here use psychic types. And on top of that, there's also the fact that the gym leader himself uses poison types. So, what are these guys doing here? Psybeam, what the frickin' do? That was a critical. <laughs> Put it to you this way, Seismic Toss is doing more damage. Your disable failed, fuck you. Now, if there's something that War Turtle can handle, I'll let him handle it. But in this case, may as well let Alakazam get the experience here. I mean, he's mostly using Seismic Toss, but hey, it works. Confusion, big deal. Yeah, again, I rest my case. Gen 1 Psychic Types were broken. Level up. Anyway, jugglers, they mostly use psychic types, as you could probably tell. And there's quite a few of them in this gym, so get used to them. I believe this guy has a Mr. Mind to start with. But, let's see. No hip now. Anyone who's watched the anime would know why Hypno basically got his own lullaby. Going for Psychic, Ugh, how much? That was a crit, so... Might be able to survive one more. With Confusion, yeah, definitely. Alright, Hyper Potion, do your thing. Now, some might argue I'm wasting Hyper Potions on this, but so what? Really, there's no other healing item that can heal at least 100, so... Well, aside from the obvious Max Potion and all that. So you know what? Screw you, I'm using Hyper Potions. You're a jungler, but you wanted to become a ninja. Yeah, Koga's a ninja. And he's freaking awesome. One of my favorite gym leaders in the entire game. I'm trying to remember how many Pokemon this guy had. I want to say he just... I, I know it just showed up, but I want to say he had four? Counting this drowsy. Oh, freaking disable. Side beam, not too much of a big deal right now, but pretty soon it probably will be. Poison gas, guaranteed poison. But I can deal with that issue, no problem. Yeah, drowsy, I think War Turtle can handle that. Yeah, there's a reason we need War Turtle to handle it. I probably should have used Surf in hindsight, but hey, Bubble Beam at least gets a use now. Uh, 
Let's swap things around a little bit and surf shop. Yeah, I should have used it in the first place. And bite so we can use all three attacks. Kadabra. Major weakness to the Abra line. Horrible physical defense. Going for a cover when your health is full? Okay. Yeah, if your move gets disabled, it basically wastes your turn and that's that. As we saw just there. And surfs up. This should be a level up. Keyword there is should be. Alright, level 36. Uh, you know what, Flareon? Just because at least once I want to do a hyper beam with this thing. Oh yeah, Flareon knows Ember now. Not too big of a deal due to its low special stat. Well, special attack stat technically, but since the special stat is 1, I guess it's low special stat anyway. Our final evolution, and we saved what is, in my opinion, the best for last of this group. More totally evolved into Blastoise. Oh yeah, speaking of evolution, if you are playing Pokemon Yellow, you cannot evolve your Pikachu with a Thunderstone. It's going to refuse to evolve. So, don't even try. Again, trying to reference the anime as much as it possibly can, but sometimes you're really better off just playing red and blue just for that Raichu. Speaking of which, in yellow, there's no possible way you can get Raichu in that case. This will probably be the last trainer, and then I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. I believe this guy is a tamer. Yes, indeed he is. Tamers tend to use animal-like Pokemon. Ekin, Zarbok, Growlithe, Tauros, those kinds of Pokemon. Very simple and straight to the point. Well, at the very least, the vast majority of the trainers all use Psychic types in here. You'll occasionally see one of these guys. Sand Slash. Alright, same old song and dance. Scratch. Eh, in Sand Slash's case, it's actually kind of a decent deal because Sand Slash has a pretty decent physical attack stat. And one more arm block to deal with. Again, I'm fighting these trainers now because if I don't fight them now and then try to fight them after being the gym leader, I actually won't be able to fight these trainers. So, gonna pause the recording and heal everyone up. Back in a moment. Alright, everyone healed up. Back at it. May as well talk to this guy manually. No, because I can still see said invisible walls, so they're not exactly invisible now, are they? And Sand Slash. We know how this goes. Critical! Yes! Hell yeah! And Arbok is basically the nail in the coffin. Bye! Yeah, that was easy. Indeed, I've got it, whatever it actually is. Let's give Flareon some time, shall we? I do not descend from any sort of ninja line, good sir.
Drowsy. Huh. You know what I'm risking it, Hyper Beam? Booyah! And ignore the recharge while I go for Body Slam. Critical Poison Gas. Shit. Well, actually a good time to take that out because I can just get rid of the poison without... Well, first of all, insert obligatory ball joke here. Although, in all realistic manner, I think he means dropped him while he was juggling. Anyway. We'll keep Flareon in the front for a little bit. Anyway, Koga. Fuchsia Gym Leader. Now, in yellow, he's actually a little bit harder. Three Venonats and the Venomoth, and they're all higher level than every single Pokemon he has here. Not to mention all of them, I believe, no Psychic in some way as well. Body Slam. And waste your turn doing an X attack. Uh, Takedown. And another X attack. You're an idiot. Like, seriously? You're an idiot. All right, Muck, Alakazam. This thing won't go down in one hit. Muck has a pretty good defense. Well, special stat, rather, or special defense, or whichever it is. Oh, fucking Minimize. Minimize is much like Double Team. It boosts evasion, but there's a neat little gimmick with Minimize. If you hit something with Stomp when they're Minimized... They take double damage. I believe that's Gen 2 onward. Alright, Flareon. You're getting your time to shine, make it count. Ember. Burned it, yes! And icing on the cake, Smog actually missed. And critical! Insult to injury! Level 36 Flareon and Weezing, his ace in the hole. Now in yellow, as you might expect, it would be Venomoth. Yeah, I have to use type matchups here. There's no way I'm risking it against Weezing. Now, his signature attack does not change regardless of whether you're playing the originals or the remakes. Does he use it here? I would think he would. There it is! Toxic! Badly poisons the target. Say Toxic does... 7 damage on the first turn. It'll do 14 on the second turn. And keep adding. Also in Gen 1, really effective for a Toxic Leech Seed combo. But so it goes. But that Coke is down. And with the Soul Badge, we can use Surf outside of battle. Finally. TM6 Toxic. I don't think I'll be giving that to anybody. Actually, now that I think about it, 33 might have been Swift. In hindsight, that's what it might be. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about the TMs in the Sound Department store, and I think 33 might be Swift. I'll have to check. But, since we can now use Surf outside of battle, I'll be right back once we get back into the Safari Zone. If there's a rare encounter, I'll show it off. So, let's heal up. And, back in a moment. Alright, I'm back where the item is, and let's go surfing. And a nugget. And that just for some variety. 
Let's surf on Raichu and get off. And back in a moment.